Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. The Israelites have been scattered across the four corners of the earth, as prophesied in Deuteronomy, the 20th chapter. Here in Israel, united in Christ, we need your help to recover the remnant of our people, teach them the gospel. Please help us, support us, and join or donate to the Booster Club today. Shalom. type of sister that climbs up into this truth is lusty lore. <laughs> now, you know, we talked about yeah. <laughs> we talked about um, the bishop has gone into this lesson and he's bringing this information out. And believe it or not, because I know some people are angry. I'm not pointing any fingers, but I know a lot. some people are angry at this lesson. But if they were in their right mind, they should be appreciating this. Because this right here will steer you away from the divorce court. This will keep your marriage together and have you to have a healthy marriage according to the most high. There should be nobody cringing up at this at all. Because without this, we are a total mess. Hey, last week, Deacon Yahweh, so y'all remember, we showed you divorce court with one of the brothers from the ICGJC, mm -hmm. and his wife was a born-again Christian. And she was calling that he, what he was involved in a cult. Yeah. Okay, well, what if it's neither here nor there. But the issue was, she says, I want to celebrate Christmas. I go to church on Sundays. That's what the and that was the problem. That was the problem. That's the religious woman. Her, right there. Because the religion she's based in is not Bible. It's white supremacy. It's right. It's white supremacy at its best. Christianity. Exactly. 100% correct. Where we at? You said lusty, lusty Laura. Laura. Right. Lusty, we're talking about Lusty Laura is a hoe. Lusty Laura is a hoe. This is the sister who has low self-esteem, and she will give it to you anytime you ask. You can't trust Lusty Laura. There's an old expression, it's hard to turn a hoe into a housewife. How true that is. It's not impossible, but it's hard. Why? Because she's been all over the world. Let me give you some scriptures behind what I'm saying. Give me that in Proverbs 7. Let's start there. The book of Proverbs, chapter 7, verse 9. Now, let's start above it. Start at 7. Proverbs 7, verse 7. And beheld, among the simple ones, I discerned among the youths a young man void of understanding. So this begins talking about a stupid Young man, which some of you have fallen into this verse right here. <laughs> you are walking through the streets looking for lusty Laura. You're going to find her too. Keep going. Passing through the street near her corner. Her corner. That's her corner. Lusty Laura corner. Go ahead. And he went the way to her house <laughs> in the twilight, in the evening. In the black and dark night. You brothers know, you know if this is you. You ain't out during the daytime looking for this hoe. You wait till it's night. Remember the brother that used to be with us? Mm -hmm. He would hang, he would go to the restaurant to eat. Yeah, yeah. Two in the morning, right across the street from a club when all the hoes was coming out. 
Brothers John, but hey, what you doing? He, oh, I'm just hungry. I'm here for the bite to eat. No. How come the hoes come out the same time? You here every other night? Come on, bro. Stop. Stop, bro. He only gets hungry when the hoes come out. Exactly. Is that it? The freaks come out at night. Remember that song? Some of y'all don't know what I'm talking about, but go ahead. And go behold, ahead. there met him a woman with the attire of an harlot. See, you can spot Lusty Laura. She dressed like a hoe. You know a hoe when you see a hoe. Now, there was a day when you could tell the difference between a good God-fearing sister and a hoe. But in today's standards, you cannot tell the difference. I remember when my firstborn was, we were driving through Queensbridge, and there were some hoes standing around. And I said to him, when you grow older, make sure you don't get hooked up with no hoe. And he was about six. He said, you mean like Santa Claus? I said, no, not like Santa Claus. I said, you'll understand one day when you get older. Read on. Where are we at? <laughs> Verse 10. And behold, there met him a woman with the attire of an harlot uh -huh. and subtle of heart. And she was tricky of mind. Go ahead. She is loud and stubborn. See, one thing about Lusty Laura, she's loud. This is a loud woman, a loud sister. And she's stubborn. Go ahead. Her feet abide not in her house. She don't stay at home. She's all over the place. Now we're going to jump from there. Still talking about lusty Lord. Give me Sirach 2612. Sirach 26, verse. Let me look, make sure that's it. 26 verse. Oh, yes. Let's start at 9. Sir Ecclesiasticus or Sirach, chapter 26. Now this is Lusty Laura who you want to make a wife. Now we've had several Lusty Lauras up in there who got married. But the marriage didn't last too long because she ends up in the back seat of a car with another man. Let's read on. Damn. <laughs> Verse 9. The whoredom of a woman may be known in her haughty looks and eyelids. Brothers, y'all know what I'm about to say. You know the way a woman give you a look if she going to give you some or not. There's a look. She says to her girlfriend, you know I gave him the look. <laughs> Go ahead. If thy daughter be shameless, keep her in straightly. Now, I'm going to tell you, when the first school we had at 1080, there was a hoe up in there. Now, I ain't going to call her name, but they ain't with us no more, thank God. Anyway, the brother, his daughter was a hoe. All of a sudden, y'all know who I'm talking about. Leon, I think y'all know too. This young girl was always, she, she had the dress on the Sabbath, but then when you see her during the week, she got on trousers. She got on jeans, Okay. Then they move. I ain't going to tell you where they move to, because if I tell you where they move, you're going to know who I'm talking about. I saw him this week. You saw him this week? Yes, move to another state. Then after Sabbath class, not in IUIC, they left. Another Sabbath class they was holding. They threw a brother out. So then we, we ask, why did you throw the brother out? Why, brother, why did they throw you out? The brother says, because his, he caught his daughter going down south on me. So, I, so not me. So the brother says he caught his daughter going down south on you. This was Sabbath day? He says right after class. He says his daughter is a hoe. She took me to the closet. So then the brother said, what happened to his daughter? Oh, he kept that part of the story out. They just threw the brother out, but the daughter for, for being the receiver. Read that again, Officer Leon. If thy daughter be shameless. If thy daughter be shameless. You brothers know if your daughter's shameless or not. Go ahead. Keep her in straightly. Uh -huh. Lest she abuse herself through overmuch liberty. I like the way you emphasize abuse herself. That's talking about sex, sex, and most sex. Her mouth got stretch marks on it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Watch <laughs> Watch over an impudent eye and marvel not if she trespass against you. And thee. when it says marvel not if she trespass against you, don't be shocked the Bible is saying. You knew your daughter was a shameless hoe from youth. Why are you shocked? Why are you acting all shocked and surprised, bro? Go ahead. She will open her mouth uh -oh. as a thirsty traveler. Pull me up a, a picture. No, no, not a whale. Woman drinking water. And Officer Liam, let's, let's, now, what the scriptures is talking about, brothers, 
and sisters, is a metaphor. She's not really thirsty for water at all. <laughs> Remember, it's talking about lusty Laura, a hoe. So you have to imagine that that bottle of water is something else. Read, on, read the verse you at again. What verse you at? Verse 12. So Rock 26, verse 12. She will open her mouth. She will open her mouth. Go ahead. As a thirsty traveler. As a thirsty traveler. When he has found a fountain. You know, when you're thirsty and you find a fountain, you run to that fountain, your mouth is open wide to get the water up in there. So this is a metaphor for how lusty Laura deals towards men. Not any particular man, any man. She's thirsty. Go ahead. And drink of every water near her. Any water? Every water near her. Every water. She got her mouth open for every water of man. Now, this, this is God speaking now. I know y'all didn't think the Bible talked like this talk, but it talk, talk, speak your speech, nigga. <laughs> this is what the Bible's talking about. You got to keep it 100. Keep it real. So, see... A lot of church people go, no, don't, don't talk about that. This is why them church girls, y'all brothers, in the, I don't know if y'all my age, but some of y'all know, the church girls are the freakiest ones, and they were the easiest ones. You know them girls. Where we at, Officer Leon? Verse 12. Go ahead. By every hedge will she sit down. Uh-oh. Now she's sitting, this is a metaphor. She's sitting down by every hedge. The hedge represents a man. Go ahead. An open her quiver uh -oh. against every arrow. Is a, and, and the arrow represents the penis. I'm just going to make it plain. The arrow represents the penis. The quiver represents the vajayjay. Let me going to say it again in case they didn't understand what I just said. The quiver represents the vajayjay. The arrow represents the penis. The quiver is open for every arrow. She don't care. All kinds of she don't fat, skinny, long, short, stinky, all kind. She's up in there. Give me Sirach 42 and 11. And why, and why hey, y'all ever see these sisters, black, Latino, they do the same thing. They be hoes in a strip club and they say, I'm just trying to pay my way through college. That's some, that's some nasty, wicked hoe stuff right there. You in a strip club. Showing your behind to every man in the champagne room, talking about I'm just trying to pay my way through college. And then y'all, some of y'all want to make that your wife? You crazy? Don't do that. Don't do that. You gonna embarrass yourself. Hey, they be paying themselves through college for over ten years. Yes. You know? <laughs> exactly. Read that. Sirach so 42 and 11. Keep a sure watch over a shameless daughter, lest she make thee a laughing stock mm. to thine enemies. You see that? And a byword in the city, and a reproach among the people, and make thee ashamed before the multitude. So you brothers who have a shameless daughter, or if you're married to a shameless wife, you're going to be a laughing stock. Her name is a byword in the city. Like, hey ho, hey ho, you thought that was her name. Thought. But that was the word they call her. She's the local hoe. Thought. She's the rock, yeah, she's the thought, that hoe over there. Thought. The Wonder Woman. <laughs> so a sister like this in this state of mind she can't get married and if she is married she won't be married too long so sisters if you have thoughtish ways about you you need to become born again and change your ways that's the second type of personality trait that should not or will not get married Shalom this is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcast, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit 
www.israelunite.org.